Hi teachers, I want to check in with you as you are transitioning to distance learning with your classrooms. Um, just know that I am here for you with any questions you may have about tools um, or how to better connect with families. I did want to remind you about Flipgrid as an option for connecting with your families. One of the great things about Flipgrid is that it allows us to continue to see one another. Uh, during this time of separation and still kind of feel like we're connected to a Barrow community. It also works across all devices. So really, no matter what kind of device people are using, if it's a device that has a webcam uh, built into it, then they're going to be able to use that. Um, so if you are communicating with parents through Class Dojo, all you have to do is send that link and parents can click on it and use whatever device they have, uh, whatever device they're accessing Class Dojo on to then respond. They can install the Flipgrid app, but they also can respond just uh, from their browser, uh, which is great. So they don't have to have the app, but it does um, work better with the app. Um, the very first thing that you're gonna need to do is go to Educator Sign Up right up here and sign up for a free account if you don't already. And then once you have that, you'll just log in with your uh, Google account, because that's probably how you'll sign up. Now, um, what you'll have to do first, because you can see on my screen, I have lots of different topics and grids, but you're going to need to create a grid to begin with. So you're going to click Add a New Grid. You have to give it a name, and you might just want to start with one for now, instead of trying to make a grid for every subject area. Maybe just call it um, whatever your, you know, your classroom distance learning. And then down below, you have three different options. So if you're a teacher in pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, maybe even second grade, where your kids probably don't know their school email address and their password, I would choose um, student ID where you can create your own list. You would type in each student's name and then give them a password, make it something simple, like just their first name. Um, if your kids are in third, fourth, or fifth grade, you can use the school email um, function because then they're just going to log in using their um, account and they could do that from their computer and you could share this in Google Classroom very easily to get responses. Um, public is also an option, but you really don't need that for, um, for what we're going to be doing. I'm going to show you a workaround that's going to help you in just a minute. So I'm, for now, I'm going to click school email. And then I'm going to click down here. Next. Um, you'll see here that I just put the at clark.k12.ga.us for the school email so that anyone with that email address can sign in. And then your grid. So once you've created a grid, then you have to add a topic, and the topic is really the question that you're asking to students. Add a new topic. And then you can um, set up how long you want people to be able to respond. Remember, if you are going to personally watch all of these videos, you may not want to give them five minutes, because um, a lot of our kids will think that they need to use up that entire five minutes. Uh, to record, so you would might want to set it at a minute or a minute and 30 seconds, just so it's a brief video. Um, in this a question or a statement, I would um, definitely put something here because it will read it to them if they need that. I'm not going to type out the whole thing, but you could put enough instructions there that it would be helpful for families. You can record a video of yourself by clicking right here, or you also have all of these options for how you could um, put something uh, into your Flipgrid. There's lots of things that, that work well with Flipgrid. And then you can just click Create Topic, but you also can click on More and have lots of different options. Like if you want to moderate the video, if you want students to be able to reply to one another with video, those are all options that you can turn on or off um, depending on your preference level. But if you want to just keep it simple, just keep what Flipgrid already has and click 
create topic. Now, here's that um, link that you would send to students if they are logging in using um, the logins you set up or they're using the login that you, um, is their school email address. But I do want to show you a workaround if you don't feel like creating logins for everybody. Um, there is an easier way. So once you're in your topic, you can actually go right here where it says add topic guests. When you click that, you just slide this little button over. And then there's a box right here that says allow guests to record. You want to make sure that's checked if you're wanting them to be able to record a video. And then you copy this link and send it to families. Now what this does, I'm going to show you in a new screen. Instead of asking them to log in, they'll go to the plus sign. And all they have to do to add a video is just type their first and last name. They don't have to do with their email address. So if I wanted to do this, I would just type in my first and last name. I would click Let's Go. And now I'm ready to record my very first video. Hi. I'm going to close that for now. Um, but I would definitely suggest using that feature um, because I think if families are having to log in from their phone using um, email addresses, it's going to be frustrating for them. And using that guest mode is going to make it a lot more accessible uh, to families to be able to record quickly. So again, once you've created a topic, you go where um, up to the top to turn on the guest mode. And if you want to turn it off, you just click on that box again and turn off that access if you don't want them to be able to record anymore. Um, so that's kind of a very um, simple way to get started with Flipgrid. I'll be answering more specific questions as you have them. Um, please feel free to email me. Um, if I start getting the same questions, I'll make a video to make it clear to everybody what to do. Um, best wishes and just remember I'm here to help.